Hello Capricorn. Thank you for turning into your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero. It's by Renata Lechner. I think you can see her name. The sun is coming in and out. In and out. The supportive oracle cards are the Magical Spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. Woo! Alright, we got that. Already shuffled. Capricorn. Let's see what we got for you. Let's see how this works out. Okay. Capricorn. The situation you're dealing with is starting right in with the King of Pentacles. Th the situation seems very highly analytical, but very stable. Now, what I mean by highly analytical is like there's a plan, there's a way the plan is set, there's a way the plan is supposed to work out, sticking to the plan, not letting it be swayed by emotion. It's simply what it is, and it's going to stay the way it is. It feels very, very, what do you want to call it, if, if flavorless. Flavorless is the best way I could put it. It's just, it's working. I feel like that's your point, though. It's working, and you're willing to stick with it because it's working. It's flavorless, but it's working. Face down, Oracle card on the other side. The other side has victory face down. So I feel like it's very flavorless, but that seems to be what is working for everybody. And I feel like you're also, you're not really reacting to it. You're just like, it is what it is. It's working. It's flavorless, but it's working. I feel like you're like, I don't want to rock the boat because it's working. Now, what comes in next is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands with the healing right on top of it. This is the only face-up Oracle card that came in face-up. There's two other Oracle cards later. The Ace of Wands pops in, shaking things up. A whole new way of doing things is forcing its way into the situation. It's forcing its way in. Like there's whatever is going on with this flavorless situation, something is being interjected here, and it's really jazzing things up very fast. It's like a really big punch of cayenne pepper or something. It cannot be denied. You can't just act like it's not there. It won't be denied. And then the healing with the Ace of Wands is telling me like it's really curing that flavorlessness, is <laughs> putting some spice into the situation. And I'm getting there's the Queen of Wands is adding it. The Queen of Wands is pushing this in here, trying to make the situation better. It's become too ho hum. It's too boring. Here's some life. Let's push some life into this situation. I'm getting this really. The Eight of Wands is popping up on your side, and you seem to be dealing with it well. See, because what I'm getting is the situation is still kind of dependable. It's just things are getting shaken up a little bit. I don't feel you like. Um, getting upset about this, to be honest. Capricorn is a very strong earth energy, which is usually quite dependable, stay the same way, but it's kind of like, I just feel like it's new growth, and it's really rapid growth, but I feel like you're, you're handling it well. Things are changing very fast, but I feel like the situation, the base situation seems stable, so you're okay with it. The base of the situation is still dependable, so you're moving along with it, you're moving pretty fast, it is shaking things up for you, but you seem to be doing okay. This is at first blush. This is when it first happens, you're okay. When it first happens, you're just kind of like, I'll go with it, because it's been so flavorless for so long. I'll just go with it. It's still going to work out, so that's fine. I can do this. I can do this. And I feel like you want this to work out. What's going on with my face with this? Like, I don't know what's going on with the sun here all of a sudden. It was fine a minute ago. <laughs> um... This moment happens. You're going along with it. I'm getting very soon after the Three of Swords pops in. I don't know how this is going to go at the end here. I'm kind of worried about it, but we'll find out. Um, the Three of Swords pops up. And I'm getting what's happening here is that things, this new spice, mm, it's causing problems causing big problems and I feel like this is why nobody was 
rocking the boat before because it was working. And now it's not working. This spicing things up, not a good idea. And I'm getting the other side is looking to find a way to fix it. They're, they're, trying, they're looking for answers. They're looking for answers any way they can find them. And I'm getting that it seems like going back to the way things were is not an option. I feel like that's a problem. Because the other side is looking for answers, and they're taking answers anywhere they can get them from. They can't seem to find any answers, though. The Five of Pentacles is making me feel like they need something else, somebody to help them, somebody to stabilize the situation. They're looking for somebody else. Please help me. Nobody seems to be able to. Now, face down, the chariot comes in, uh, and it's, mo it's more on the other side, and it's pushing into the center, which makes me feel like this is the next piece coming into action. Somebody's trying to fix this. Something's coming in trying to fix it. Seems to be coming in out of the blue. At the very least, it's not something you're personally expecting. When that happens, even though you're not expecting it, I'm noticing you have the Four of Cups and you have the Success card. The Four of Cups is telling me this is not really the what you, you don't like what you're seeing now. You don't like these changes, but you're seeing like, all right, it's going to fix the situation. It's not really the way you'd really like it to go, but it'll fix the situation. It'll help. It'll definitely put, you're looking at it like it'll put things back on track. That's the success, success part. The Four of Cups is telling me you don't really like what's happening, but it is. it does look like it'll fix it. Now where we're ending, I'm going to look at the face down card first. <laughs> okay, you really don't like how this is working out. I saw this and it was just, I, I don't like it, but you can watch the Virgo reading to see what I really think about this card, because I, I kind of went off about it for a moment. I feel like the, the situation has become very demanding, very demanding, and the trust card is like, it's not going to last forever. It's become very demanding. I feel like you're not happy, but it's, it's not going to stay this way for long, not too, too long. It's, it's going to get things back en route, and I feel like this is going to keep people from trying to shake things up again. I'm getting like this is, this is not easy. The trust is like trust that it's going to work out. The devil is telling me it's really demanding, and I feel like you're looking at this like, you know, I tried to go along with that spicy change because we needed to change. It was getting very, it was flavorless. It was very flavorless, but you're kind of like, you know what? It's going to go back to being flavorless at some point again. And I feel like you're seeing that. And you're like, I'm definitely not going to let that change again. I'm going to make sure we hold to that because this was just not worth it. This was not worth it. And I feel like the devil card is like the situation has become very demanding. It's just kind of like you feel kind of over. You feel like you're, getting, you're being punished for something that's not your fault. That's kind of what I'm feeling there. But the trust is like it'll come back around. It'll cement back in the way it was and you'll be fine going forward after this devil card moves on. And I just feel like it's a disruption you don't really like. But it will, it seems like the trust card is saying the devil card will not live here forever. It's just a transitional card in this situation. For this time, it's a transitional card. Done? Okay. All right, I think I'm going to wrap that up there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four. Astral at gmail.com. Thank you.